Hello, Natalie. Hello, Roxana. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How Pretty are you? Good, thanks. Excellent, excellent. How do you feel today? I feel good, thanks. How, how was your weekend? What about you? I feel awesome. It was great. What did you do this weekend? Um. I am um, stay at home on oh, Saturday. I stay at home because um, uh, I am um, had uh, some uh, what do you how do you say uh, uh, construction in my oh. yard mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a little um, and and on Sunday I went. I went to the the church. Oh, nice! What church do you go to? Uh, it's uh, 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 Jesus Christ Church. Oh, that's so good. Me too. I like to go to church. I go to Iglesia de Dios. Jesús es el Señor. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. That is my church. I like to go. Hello, Ana Godinez. How are you? Hi, teacher. Fine. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hello, Natalie, Hi. Elizabeth. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. What about you? Very good. Very good. I feel yes, good. good, had a nice weekend, went out, ate, went to church, rested, so I feel good. Are you ready for your English class? Yes, in this moment, I'm ready. Okay, that's good. I like that. I like that. We're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, can you tell me what information do you remember about the class on Friday? What vocabulary do you remember? What exercise do you remember? Okay, so on Friday, we were discussing time, uh, talking about time, right? For example, by the time I was 15, I... I, who can tell me the answer? By the time I was 15, I, who can give me the answer? Somebody? Anybody? One body? I think is, I realized mm -hmm. that I wasn't a child anymore. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, Natalie. Number two, until I started working part time. I have never mm -hmm. saved any money. Excellent. Very good. I had never saved any money. Number three, the moment I got my first paycheck. I began to understand the value of money. I began to understand the value of money. Excellent. Number four, as soon as I left home, as soon as I left home, I realized that I was not a child anymore. Mm, I think that that one was uh, number one. By the time I was 15, I realized that I wasn't a child anymore. That was this one, number one. Can somebody... But, number, but number one, you, we have a... I learned to take care of myself or something like that. Oh, you're right. Okay, so number four is... I realized I wasn't a child anymore. Are you sure? Let's check. Okay, number five. 
once I started sharing an apartment. Can I, teacher? Yeah. I learned how to get along better with people. I learned how to get along better with people. Very good. Number six, after I began a relationship. I learned how to communicate better. Okay, I learned how to communicate better. Um, Ana Golindes, number seven. If I travel abroad, I didn't appreciate my own country. I didn't appreciate my own country. Uh, number five, until I got really sick, um, let me have Enrique. I hadn't understood the importance of good health. I hadn't understood the importance of good health. Correct. Good job. Excellent, everybody. Good work. All right. At this moment, does anybody have any questions related to this exercise? Do you have any questions about vocabulary or do you have any questions related to uh, the expressions or anything like that? At the moment, no. Mm -hmm. Nobody, anybody? Questions, questions, somebody? No teacher, no question. Okay, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and move forward and we're gonna be looking at the following activity, which is going to be a listening activity. Now for the listening activity, you are going to listen to three people describe important events in their lives. Choose what was their turning point for each one. So you're going to click here. And you're going to play the audio. Page and you're going to answer Exercise about four. Sally, Listening. Important Henry, events. Debbie, a. and then part Listen number to two. Three people describe important events in their lives. Complete the chart. Any questions? Any questions? No, no teacher. It's no, clear for me. It's clear for me. All right. So we're going to take five minutes. We're going to work in pairs and we are going to answer the questions from the audio and then we're going to check as a class. In pairs. Ready? Let's go. Five minutes. Uh, hello, Natalie. Uh, you are working with Mirna Barahona. Hello, teacher. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Mirna. Hi, teacher. The first person is Sally. And the answers are, she was the top student in her class. She learned Spanish and he and his brother went to the different college. Yes, that's right. The third one, I can hear the audio because I can't. Listen. Okay, let me play it for you. Okay. One. Page 74. Exercise four. 
Listening. Important events. Part A. Listen to three people describe important events in their lives. Complete the chart. One, Sally. One thing that was really a turning point for me was when I learned Spanish. I was always kind of scared of learning a foreign language, yet I was really envious of kids who could speak another language. But when I started learning Spanish, I found I was actually pretty good at it. And the moment I reached that breakthrough stage, you know, when you discover you can actually speak and communicate with people in the language, I felt really proud of myself. I realized that learning a foreign language wasn't an impossible thing after all. Now I can speak three, Spanish, Italian, and German. And I'm taking Korean this year. Two, Henry. I'm a twin, and my twin brother and I have always been very close. We always did everything together, and we were never apart for any time at all. What happened to... Are you working alone? No, teacher. Hello, Natalie. What happened to Natalie? She out of the class. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put you with Marcela. language wasn't an impossible thing after all. Now I can speak three, Spanish, Italian, and German. And I'm taking Korean this year. Two, Henry. I'm a twin, and my twin brother and I have always been very close. We always did every. Okay, let's check, let's check the activity. Let me have one volunteer and give me the answer for exercise number one. One volunteer, exercise. I did it, sir. Okay, Katya? Okay. The answer is number one, she learned Spanish. She learned Spanish, thank you. Number two, Henry. Let me have Marcela. Yes, uh, Henry, he and his brother went to different college. Excellent. Number three, Debbie, let me have Enrique. She was the top student in her class. Excellent. She was the top student in her class, is correct. Let me have part two, Sally Mirna Barahona. What, teacher? Mirna, number one, Sally Mirna Barahona. Became a lot more outgoing. Okay became a lot more outgoing. Uh, Javier Mundo, number two, Henry. All right, Natalie Elizabeth, number two, Henry. Became more confident and independent. Perfect. Maritza Argueta, number three, Debbie. Uh, number three, I have became a lot, a lot more outgoing. Okay, let's check. Awesome, awesome. Oh, this one, number one, who has Sally, number one? 
she became more confident and independent. I know that's it. Uh, the second one, felt teacher. Proud of her felt, proud. Proud. felt proud. Felt proud. Felt proud. Oh, that's okay. Let's check. Awesome. Very good. Felt proud. Okay. Good job. All right. Any questions related to this activity? Any questions related with this activity? Okay. No question. No question. No question. No question. It's clear. Okay. Let's look at the next one. I have a question. 1.6. Lesson objective. I have a question. Who? Who? Who has a question? Uh, what is the meaning of outgoing? Ah, uh, outgoing is like extroverted. Extrovertido, more or less. Do you understand? Thanks. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Now we're going to be looking at exercise 1.6. In this class, participants will learn adjectives for discussing behavior and personality. Vocabulary. Listen, please. We're about to study some adjectives which will help you talk about behavior and personality. Ambitious, argumentative, carefree, conscientious, naive, pragmatic, rebellious, sensible, sophisticated. All right, everybody please listen and repeat. Ambitious. 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 Argumentative. 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 Carefree. 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 Consci conscientious. Conscientious. Naive. Naive. Pragmatic. 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 Rebellious. 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 Sensible. Sensible. Sophisticated. Sophisticated. One more time. Ambitious. Ambitious. Argumentative. Carefree. Carefree. Conscientious. Conscientious. Naive. Naive. Pragmatic. Pragmatic. Rebellious. Rebellious. Sensible. Sensible. Sophisticated. 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 Can you repeat conscience? Conscientious. 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 What is the meaning? Of Navy, one of the word that uh, we just so which one? Naive. 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 No, no naive. <laughs> naive. <laughs> naive with a V. Uh, naive is like innocent, a little bit like innocent, naive. Right? You know how sometimes people say jokes and you don't understand the joke because your mind is innocent right your mind is naive you don't know so naive is like innocent more or less in your teens in your 20s how do you behave now try to be as honest as possible okay so in this activity you are going to write 
here at least three sentences with when you were younger. Give me a second. Honest as possible. When you were a teen. When you were honest as possible. Honest as possible. I can't grab it. In your teens? In your twenties? How do you be Okay. So you're gonna write three sentences talking about how you were in your teens. Three sentences. How you were in your 20s, three sentences, and how you are now, three sentences. And you're going to write your sentences here at the bottom where it says, Añadir una publicación. You're going to write titulo and you're going to say, I was. And then you're going to write the sentence. When I was a teen, I was naive. Three sentences. Uh, when you were in your 20s. When I was in my 20s. I was outgoing. Now I am introverted. You're going to write three sentences when you were in your teens, three sentences when you were in your 20s, and three sentences describing your personality now. Sergio, do you have a question? Oh, oh yeah, teacher, I have a question. Yes. Uh, uh, about uh, carefree. 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 Uh -huh. uh, what's the difference between carefree and careless? Ah, very good question. Carefree is somebody that is happy, somebody that is not worried about the news, uh, somebody that is not stressing over little things, carefree, somebody that lives their life happy. Um, careless is somebody that is not careful, right? When you do something, you have to be careful. So, for example, if you are cooking, you have to be careful, right? Not to burn the food. Somebody careless is somebody that does the things without paying attention. Ah, okay, teacher. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Another question? Another question? No, thanks. Okay. Let's continue and we are going to work in pairs and we're going to help each other write the activities on the platform. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Let's do it. Hello. Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Yes. Okay. yes I hear you. 
Okay, do you have the words? Uh, we work. We don't have to, we don't have to use the uh, words. But, but that... I, I, the teacher is in now we, with us this now, but I don't know if we are going to do the the exercise of the, the platform. The exercise no. number one point ten. I don't know. We don't have to, to do the the sentences. Oh yeah, yes. we're going to do the, the sentences. Yes, you're going to do the sentences ah. in Paris. Uh, not the, the one point ten of the platform. Uh, no, we're going to do that after. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, do you have the, the, the words? Um, excuse me, we are going in this moment. i going to, to look for the... Uh, video for the different adjectives. I think that adjectives. Hi, Alexander. Hello. How are you? Fine. Fine. I'm sorry, I'm late, but I'm, I'm here. Okay. Yes. <laughs> a little, a little time, but trying to. Uh, that, that, there is a word. Okay. Okay. I'm I will try. When I was a teen, I was rebellious. Ooh, rebellious. When I was <laughs> when I was in my twenties, I was mm, argumentative. And now I am sensible. Okay. Now your turn. Who, oh, Juan Jose? Okay, okay. Um, when I'm a teen, maybe a little carefree. A little carefree. Um, maybe, maybe. Uh, I think that rebellious is not the, the, the word correct. <laughs> um, uh, maybe the, the word is not here in this moment, but uh, I did many things that my father uh, don't know, <laughs> but I know which mm -hmm. is the word, the correct word. But uh, it's in... in maybe think, cons conscientious? Conscientious? Conscientious. Mm, not exactly. Maybe, maybe in this moment, maybe yes. Mm -hmm. um, in the moment, yes, for the mature, um, mm -hmm. the friends. But I think in this moment, I am sensible. But sensible is always uh, ah. when I was shy, when I was in, in this moment, I am many sensible. <laughs> okay. Yes. Juan Jose or Ana, I have a question. What means exactly car free? Car free, what means exactly? Like a freedom? No. No, I understand that was when you uh, are very worried for, worried for things. It's like the opposite of careless, he said. Uh huh. Yes, uh, many, many things that, many, many thing that you are is not. Uh, important sometimes. Uh, carefree. Um, okay. Carefree is yes. somebody that is not stressing, uh, somebody that is happy. Carefree. You, no, you, no, 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 it's not exactly happy. Uh, okay. uh, you can do many things, but it's um, not important. That's correct, thing. correct, correct, correct. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. For example, in Spanish, we say, no seas clavado, right? Uh -huh. It's like, no seas clavado. Like, let, uh -huh. thing, let things happen. And it's okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yes. 
Despreocupado. Mm. There Relajado. you go. Relajado. But, That's right. That's yes. right. But I, I, I how say, uh, all time, I remember all time when I was a teen, when I was a young, but right now it's, it's like a different, but in that time, I remember, I would like to be free, like a free because I could like to enjoy the life. I don't remember, I know re rebellious, but just, uh, I remember I told my, my parents, hey, I, I, I want to go to the United States, for example. Because I, I love the freedom, liberty. It, it, I don't know if it's in, in that word. Is is that I can use some words? This or these are different. No. Are you talking to me? Yes. Uh -huh. he's asking. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. You could say that if you were somebody that wanted to be free, somebody that wanted to be relaxed, of course, yes. Okay. Yes, okay. definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. Be free. Right now for my family, I become too like a sensible, a consen consensus. But long time ago, the more time I was uh, like, a, I would like to be a free <laughs> all time. Okay. <laughs> That's yeah. good. That's good. Okay, guys. All right, Ivania, Maritza, Javier, welcome. Hi. Hi. Sorry, I had a problem with my internet, so I I I leave for a moment. Uh, we have to to make a sentence or just write i don't know i did the sentences but i don't know correct you're going to write the sentences here in the discussion forum Teacher. Good night, teacher. Good evening. I have a problem. Can you? I don't understand. What are you going to do? We're going to write three questions using this vocabulary. Yes. You're going to write it here in the discussion forum. For example, when I was a teen, I was naive. 
when I was in my 20s, I was outgoing. Now, I am introverted. And then you're going to write enviar. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Hello, Rigoberto. Hello, Natalie. Hello, Katya. Hello. Hello. Can you, can you give me your examples, Natalie? Okay. When, give me a second. Mm -hmm. When was a teen, I was rebellious. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when and I was in my 20s, mm -hmm. I was ambitious. Mm -hmm. And now I'm sensible. <laughs> oh, excellent. Very good. Natalie, Katya, can you share with me your examples? I uh, with my... Uh, I don't know. With my pair, okay. I I did other exercise in the platform. Oh, okay, okay, that's all right. Okay. And let me have uh, Alexander. Can you give me your examples, please? Hey, you are on mute. You need to take out the mute. We can hear you. Oh, yes, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, but if I, 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 I joined like a, a five minutes ago, but I, I told you talk about, uh, for example, that uh, some works and what uh -huh. happened when I am 20s and 30s, etc. Correct. So, yes. Yeah. Correct. Oh, I, I, I um, in my uh, 20s and 30s, uh, really, I would like to be a free all time I, I, I would like to travel and i would like to live a free but in my 35 i i marry in in my 33 that that time that i changed and i become to a, a like a consensus conscious um, conscious uh -huh. mm -hmm. and uh bore my daughters uh -huh. or my daughter, and that changed all uh -huh. and but in my 40s i remember i have a, a big change because uh -huh. i i i decide i think in my family i decide hey i want to be i want to create a, my a entrepreneur or enterprise uh -huh. Uh -huh. company uh -huh. i mean company uh -huh. I, I i i want to create a company thinking in my daughters uh -huh. Okay. Okay. There uh -huh. is not time. Uh, just uh, 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 thinking. I want to free. No. Okay. Uh -huh. I uh -huh. need to work for my family. Uh -huh. And uh, thinking in the, for example, travel with my family. It's uh -huh. like a different. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And Excellent. I, I, all time, I think never give up. Never, never. give up. Never give yeah. up. With Jesus, oh, yeah. you can do it. Yes, of course. One hundred percent. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Good job, guys. Now we are going to look forward to look at exercise 1.8. By the end of this class, participants will learn, understand, and practice expressing regrets in hypothetical situations. With should have plus the past participles and the if clauses. Let's listen. Should you have learned English before? Stay and learn how to express regrets and describe hypothetical situations. Page 75, exercise eight, grammar focus. Expressing regret and describing hypothetical situations. Expressing regret. I should have studied something more practical when I was in college. I shouldn't have waited so long to choose a major. 
Describing hypothetical situations. If I'd been more ambitious in college, I could have learned another language. If I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have my own apartment now. When we want to express regrets, we need to follow the rule. Subject plus should have plus past participle. It's important for you to know the way you should have to speculate about or imagine things that did or didn't happen. For example, I should have paid attention to what I ate as a kid. When you want to describe a hypothetical situation, we need to use this rule. If plus subject plus had plus past participle, comma, subject plus could or would have plus past participle. Notice the use of could or would have shows what didn't happen. For example, if I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have bought my own apartment. In other words, I didn't buy the house because I had no money. Can you put yourself in the following hypothetical situations? Write them on our discussion box. All right, we're going to play it one more time. Okay. Should you have learned English before? Stay and learn how to express regrets and describe hypothetical situations. Page 75, exercise eight, grammar focus. Expressing regret and describing hypothetical situations. Expressing regret. I should have studied something more practical when I was in college. I shouldn't have waited so long to choose a major. Describing hypothetical situations. If I'd been more ambitious in college, I could have learned another language. If I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have my own apartment now. When we want to express regrets, we need to follow the rule. Subject plus should have plus past participle. It's important for you to know the way you should have to speculate about or imagine things that did or didn't happen. For example, I should have paid attention to what I ate as a kid. When you want to describe a hypothetical situation, we need to use this rule. If plus subject plus had plus past participle comma, subject plus could or would have plus past participle. Notice the use of could or would have shows what didn't happen. For example, if I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have bought my own apartment. In other words, I didn't buy the house because I had no money. Can you put yourself in the following hypothetical situations? Write them on our discussion box. All right. So basically, this structure is used when you want to express regret, right? For example, some people say, eh, si me hubiera ejercitado cuando era joven, estuviera más saludable. Right? If I had exercised when I was younger, I would be healthy. Right? O si hubiera empezado mi propia empresa cuando estaba más joven, eh, estuviera fuera más independiente financialmente. If I had started my own company when I was younger, I would be financially independent. Si hubiera estudiado inglés de joven, podría hacer negocios con empresarios en otros países. If I had learned English when I was younger, I could speak or do business with American people. 
Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to give me five examples. Five examples. You can talk about if you'd save money, si hubieras ahorrado dinero. If you'd learned English before, si hubieras aprendido inglés antes. Mm -hmm. um, if you'd gone to the gym when you were younger. Uh, if you'd learned about technology. If you'd studied about cryptocurrency. Right, whatever, whatever. You, you decide whatever you want to talk about. And you're going to write the examples here. Titulo, using if. You're going to give me five examples. Five examples, right? For example, if I had learned about Bitcoin, I would have invested. Hubiera invertido cuando estaba dólar el Bitcoin. Yes. <laughs> 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 All right, five examples. And then you're going to say enviar. Okay. All right. You have five minutes. Five minutes. Ready? Let's go. Examples. I am trying to do these examples. Okay, I'm 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 trying to do the same. <laughs> okay, if you okay. if you like, uh, when we finish, we can uh, read each other the, the the examples. That sounds good. Okay, give me a minute, okay. please. Okay.
Teacher, I have a question. I don't understand exactly what it's there. But I don't know if I need to use an if and the structure of the hypothetical situation when, when I say, some, say something about regret. It's the same structure for both? Correct. That is correct. It's the same structure. For example, okay. for example if you say, if I had saved money, I would buy a new car. Or you could say, if I had saved money, I would travel to Roatan. Roatan, for example. If I had dieted, I could take my shirt off at the beach, for example. Ooh, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you got a diet. <laughs> We have the we have the question with Rapana because in the in the video uh, for the regret only have I without if no if you mm -hmm. I should you can use I, both only I should you can use you can use both mm -hmm. oh, okay yeah. Mm. Okay, so this is going to be your homework. What I want okay. you to do right now is continue to 1.10. Instructions, okay. read each statement and rearrange the regret or hypothetical situation given in order to complete the information. No period is necessary, but remember capital letters. For example, if I listened to my parents, mm -hmm. decisions I pragmatic would more made have. Mm -hmm. It's a scramble, right? It is scrambled. So you're going mm -hmm. to organize it in the correct way. For example, mm -hmm. if I listened to my parents, I, I would I could have have made, made, made more pragmatic more decisions. Pragmatic. Very good. More pragmatic decisions. Excellent. And you will do two, three, four, and five in pairs ready let's okay. go okay let's do it okay okay mm -hmm.
I don't know if you can. Okay. Yes. Yes, I can. But I, I have problem. Uh, I think that the teacher is here in this moment. I have problem with the, the last one. The last one. Ah, uh, let me see if I'd saved money broke now, I be as am wouldn't as. Ah, okay. I wouldn't be as broke as I am now. As as broke as I am now. Okay, okay. And the the uh, another exercise I finished. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Good, good job. Oh. Good. Very good. I, I like that. I like that. Okay. okay, you can continue to the next section. Yes, yes. And in this moment, we As I am now. So for me, this is the last one. This is was a, a, a pretty difficult, but. Yes, yes. I wouldn't be as broke as I am now. No period. And when I pushed the bottom, the answer was is correct. Okay. So, but I have a problem with the number one. With the number one. Yes, uh, I it pushed send and You have a mistake. Pragmatic decisions. I don't know if the mm. the plural, the plural, or maybe I would have made. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time is up. That's going to be your homework. Please continue working on the platform and we see you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you, Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night.